Hey guys! Oh my gosh, Kendra! You're here so early! <laughs> um, I hope you're doing really good. Um, welcome to Artistic License. This is my show that we do starting around 6.30ish on Thursdays, where we kind of just do, you know, whatever I want. Um, today I've got some really fun stuff for you guys, but before we do that, let's do some announcements. Um, so, as most of y'all know uh, that have been following me for a while, I started this channel in um, November of two years ago now. Holy crap, two years. Uh, two years we've been doing this. So that means that I like to take some time to kind of think about what it is that I want to do in the next year. So I've got a couple of goals. I've got a couple of 2021 goals. Um, so I want to tell you guys about that. So the first thing is I really want to put some effort into tackling the glossary request I keep getting. So I keep getting this request to make a glossary of some sort of role play terms. And I keep not doing it. And the reason why I keep not doing it is because I feel like put, people put so much emphasis on definitions. Like people don't understand what a definition is, what a dictionary is, stuff like that. Like they, they put this like authority on definitions. And I don't want to be seen as the role play authority Right. Like I am somebody that's out here sharing my experience of, of role play and my tips that I have learned personally from role play. I'm not out here to tell you what you have to do. Right. Like you don't have to listen to me. Right. You're like you're welcome to take, you know, the pieces of my advice that work for you and the pieces that don't like throw them away. So I keep saying no. But this year I am going to actually try to tackle it. And the, the way that I'm going to tackle it is uh, is through some of the videos that I've been making about certain pieces of terminology. So like, um, so like, uh, like some of these conceptual things, right? Like the literate role play video that I did where it wasn't really defining it. It was more like giving a history of it and then my opinion about it. So we're going to do some more of that. And then my other main goal for 2021 is to inject more of my personality into things, right? Like my, my channel so far has really been a lot about me sharing information and I do inject like a lot of personal stuff when it's appropriate, but I want to do more of that. Um, I mean, the algorithm has made it clear to me that is what a lot of people that are actually subscribed to my channel want to see. So, um, so we're going to do more of that and a big way that we're going to do that is through these streams, right? So we've already kind of started doing some of that. But I want to actually have it be a goal so that it's in like the forefront of my mind. Like, so I can ask myself, Karen, are you, are you missing an opportunity here to share something more personal? So those are some things that I want to do in, uh, in kind of the next year. And um, I'm telling you guys so that you can help hold me accountable, right? So I feel like if I tell you, I'm more likely to um, actually go to it, right? It's kind of like, you know, writing down the goal makes it a little bit more real. So that's um, my kind of update, my first little update for today. So um, so let's talk a little bit about the video. Let's switch over here. There we go. Let's talk a little bit about the video that went up yesterday. So this was um, about, all about competition. And this is something where I see people doing this behavior, right? And I know that even though it has some short-term benefits, it's counterproductive to you getting what you, everything that you want out of roleplay. Because I see it over and over again, so I know this is true. This is kind of a companion video to my like uniqueness is killing your creativity because that's another behavior and thought pattern that I see that a lot of people really uh, struggle with, right? Like they're so focused on being unique that they forget to be creative. And I feel like this is the same thing. Hey, Mochi, so happy to have you here. Um, yeah, and a lot of people, a lot of people do this, right? They get so focused on being the best, on impressing people, that they they miss out on on the, the collaboration aspect of role play that really makes it, you know, that really makes it work and that really makes role play a lot of fun. I feel like when when people prioritize competition, they like they just totally miss that social aspect of of role play. And when I look at a lot of those struggles, what I see at the root of it is those competitive urges coming out. Um, so that's really what the, the video is about. But what I wanted to share with you guys is this one was a little bit harder for me than the creativity uniqueness one. Um, so, so like, it was, it was a little bit hard for me because I think in a lot of ways, I'm like, I must be like wired different because 
I don't have these feelings, if that makes any sense. Like, I don't, I've never personally done something out of a competitive urge. Like, I don't, I don't experience those feelings, or at least I don't experience them nearly as often as I think other people do. Like, for example, I typically don't feel jealousy towards other people, right? Like, I see someone succeeding, someone doing well, like... For a lot of people, their reaction is is jealousy. Like, why am I not doing well? And I just don't, I don't have that feeling. So I did ask for some help on this script. So I wanted to say a huge, huge thank you to both Landon and Sasha, who provided some really good insights into kind of um, what's happening here. Uh, so, so thank you guys very, very much for that. Um, Winnie, I just looking at your comment now, I need a glossary posted to the RP group. I want not tell people how to play, but just so the youngins know what we mean. when We keep using RP slang over and over from the mush days. Yes. Uh, I do think that's why I'm being asked for it. Like, I don't think people are asking me to like define it for them to be an authority. I just know that the result of me putting something like that out would turn into that. Cause I already get that feedback. Like I already get that feedback. Anytime I say something that, um, a, a certain group of people don't agree with they uh that's what they go for right like oh you think you know everything about rp you're you think you're the authority you're on rp stop telling me how to rp and i'm like i'm just i'm not here doing that and i never want to give that impression and i know that if i put out something that was like definitions uh then the the pedant would come out in <laughs> those people and they would be like you don't get to define things in role play your definition is wrong here and there and da 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 like it even happened on this video Right, like on, on this competition video. Um, my best my best weird ass comments come from Reddit, I have to say. So um I advertise my videos on on a relatively one of the larger role play subreddits, one of the the few ones that um that's large and lets me post. Most of the larger ones don't let me post my videos, you know. The smaller ones usually do, but there's not a lot of people in there. Um <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Winnie. I thought really hard about how I wanted to do that thumbnail, so I'm so glad you appreciated it. Um, but yeah, like on when I when I get weird comments, a lot of times they're on the Reddit thread, and I swear to God, this person they must not have watched the video because their comment was something like I'm trying to remember what, kind of what they said. Their comment was something like, um, "What's killing my role play is not competition; it's um, people not putting enough detail in their posts." So I'm like. I didn't respond because, you know, wh whoever commented this, they're on their own journey, right? And I don't know them, so, and they didn't ask me for my opinion. They, they were just leaving a comment, so. But I just, I read that and I was like, thank you. This is my whole point. This is the, this is the whole point of the video. You're, you're doing the thing. You're doing the thing. And I, and I hope that they get a chance to watch it. And I don't suspect that they will agree with me when they first watch it. But I hope that sometime from now they'll look back and be like, well, shit, that was what I was doing. Um, so I just thought that was kind of amusing. Um, <clears throat> so, so I, I hope in summary, I hope that some of my advice in there for the people that are currently like working through this stuff that haven't worked past it. Um, th th this will help you guys and uh, so that you can move past or work around these feelings, right? Because I think we get in these patterns and it becomes very natural and it's it's not like the easiest thing to rewire our brains to new patterns. So I, I do hope that this helps some people. And um, if it did help you, I would really love to know about that. Um, because I, I do think this is something that that to be a good role player, working past it is really, really necessary. Okay, so I think that's all the updates. I'm just looking at my notes over here right now. To make sure if there's anything else that I wanted to say. Okay, so I don't think so. Um, I think this is what I wanted to say. So let's get into it. Now, what I wanted to do first was, this is the thumbnail I'm going to use, right? And so have some of, some of y'all have seen this um, thumbnail. I've posted in some advertisements. But I wanted to do a shout out because this thumbnail is actually, I didn't do this manipulation, right? Like I, I didn't do that, <laughs> but it's such a quintessential, like this super hulock, right? This is such a quintessential, like super hulock image. 
Um, and this is the Deviant Art page that I got it from, so I wanted to shout them out. I did. Um, they don't seem to be active on Deviant Art any art anymore, um, or maybe I just don't know how Deviant Art works. I don't know. But I found their Facebook and I asked them if they were cool if I used this, and they said, "Yeah, it was cool." So I want to shout them out. This is their Deviant Art page where I got this from, um, and and they have a lot of manips on here, and uh, and it was definitely a trip down memory lane scrolling a little bit through their Deviant Art because they were active, you know, years ago back when Super Who Luck was like a whole big old thing. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Winnie. Yeah, I used to see that behavior on Tumblr, um, specifically. And I do think I, I don't like and I said in the video, right, like, I don't blame those individuals who do did that stuff. Like, they were doing the thing that the platform told them to do, like, they weren't doing anything wrong. They weren't being dumb. They were being really smart. Um, but, uh, but it's it's still not conducive to good role play, right? And, um, and I do think social media sucks us into this attitude really, really badly. Oh, hey, Jojo. Oh, my gosh. Um, I think this is the first time I've actually seen you come into the stream live. I'm so glad that you are up for this. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, we're gonna we're about to go look at some of those um, Thumper. OK, so while y'all feast your eyes on this beautiful thumbnail for just a moment, I want to just talk a little bit about um, my history with Tumblr so that you guys can know where I'm coming from. I've talked a lot about this before, but I'm really going to focus on Tumblr, not necessarily roleplay Tumblr for this version of the story. So I was mostly on LiveJournal and Gaia online uh, when I was in uh, my later part of high school and throughout college, right? But then in very early 2007, I got super, super busy with uh, with college. Like I was getting towards the end of my college. Oh, Oh, Thumper. Oh, Thumper. Gaia was a whole thing. Man, I had... My Avi was decked out. My Avi was decked out in Gaia. Ah, oh, so many good memories. Anyways, early 2007, I got super, super busy with college. Um, and then after college, right, I, I graduated in 2008. So for those of you guys that don't know. And so I spent my senior year of college, like, applying for jobs and not even getting a call back, right? Or going to interviews and they would be like, they would be like in love with me and then I'd never hear anything from them ever again. Um, it was awful. <laughs> so finally, like the last month of college, I was about to graduate and in my mind, I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to move back with my parents. I worked at Blockbuster Video at the time. Those don't exist anymore, but that was a thing. And, um, and I was like, I'm gonna have to work at Blockbuster for the rest of my life. Oh my God, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I wasted all this time in college and it's not getting me anything. Well, I finally got a job in May and it was like, I was like so grateful, right? So during that final year of college and for the first couple years of my career, with all of that going on, like I didn't have the creative energy left over for, for, for role play um, or really any social media. So in very early 2007, um, somewhere ar around there, like I, I stopped and I didn't come back for a while. Came back to the role play scene in like 2010, 2011. I don't remember exactly when it was, but I know it was a couple years into my career. So it was somewhere around there. And I came back to Live Journal. And I, when I came back, I learned that I had just missed Strike Through, which was a whole crazy ass thing on Live Journal. If you are not familiar with what Strike Through is, uh, Google Strike Through Live Journal. It's, uh, it was a fucking trip. So I came back, I learned that that had happened, and basically the role play community on LiveJournal was decimated. It was tiny, tiny compared to what it was, right? So um, so that, at that time, that prompted me, like everybody, everybody's went over to Tumblr. Okay, so that prompted me to make a Tumblr blog. So I made the Tumblr blog somewhere around 2011-ish, something like that, and um but I didn't understand role playing there. Like I didn't get it. Like it was it was weird to me. The formatting was weird. The reblogging was weird. I didn't like it. Oh yeah, strike through and bold through. Bold through was what ha strike through wasn't enough. Then bold through happened. Yeah, absolutely devastating to to the role play and fandom communities. So so that's what prompted me to make a Tumblr. I made one. I didn't understand role playing on there, so I was just kind of like, eh, I don't get it. This is weird. The reblogging's weird. Everyone's using all these gifs instead of icons. This is weird. Um, you know, so I still continue to role play on Live Journal, even though the community was really small. So I role played in that small community on Live Journal for a few more years until around, I think it was 2013. I think. Landon, are you in the chat? Shadow, are you in the chat? I think they were planning on coming, but maybe later. Um, y'all can correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I think it was 2013. I'm asking them because it's when I met them. <laughs> I, I joined a group role play around then and then I was like 
oh. And I, it's like, it started clicking, right? And I got it. And I was like, oh. And so then I started role playing on Tumblr and I got super into it. So I have been on Tumblr since around 2011 ish or so, somewhere around there, but I didn't get super into it until 2013. So um, recently, so we went down that memory lane, right? So now we're in the present. So recently, this blog came to my attention called Tumblr Heritage Posts. So I have got to, got to, got to show you guys. This is the most ridiculous trip down memory lane. And because that my 2011 to 2013 was kind of like not super into Tumblr, I don't recognize everything on here, but I recognize a lot of it. Y'all, this has been the most fun thing to scroll through. So, so we're going to take a look at it, right? So here's how this blog works. Um, they, it's submission based, right? So you submit posts and they, they're looking for original old posts. So the posts must predate 2016 and they must be sufficiently cursed or evoke some kind of negative emotion. <sighs> Are y'all ready to cringe? I'm ready to cringe with y'all. Okay, um, so apparently they're, they're looking right now for the original Opa Homeless style post. Um, they have reblogs, but not originals. Uh, so let me ask you guys this. Tell me in the chat, should we like start from the top and go like back in time? Or should, I'm sure they are. Kendra, I'm sure the bananas are there. But we'll see if we can find them. Um, or do y'all want me to go to like the beginning of the blog and like move forward in time as, as they posted? What do y'all do want to like start here and go back? Or do you want to go to the back and move forward? There's like 77 pages of this blog, by the way. Like I did a real quick, quick like look through um, before this and there's 77 freaking pages. So I don't know. Do y'all want to kind of look at the more recent stuff they've posted or the older stuff they've posted? Because I'm even not sure like how much we're going to get through in the two hours, <laughs> you know? Um, so I, I don't know. Um, what do y'all think? Start here or start at the back? Let me show y'all what the last thing looks like. Okay, so Kendra says start at the back. I think this is the final page of it. Oh no, there's 78 pages now. Oh my gosh, there was 77 earlier. Okay, so appropriately. <laughs> the very first post on this blog is freaking Misha Apocalypse. Y'all, Misha Apocalypse was a whole thing on Tumblr. That was so weird. That was so weird. And I like, I never, I never understood. Um, yeah, I never understood like the obsession with Misha Collins. I gotta be honest, but like, look, oh, you open the TARDIS and it's that image. Is that haunting image of Misha Collins that was like, there was so many, there was so many for the Misha apocalypse. Um, <laughs> it was, yeah, very cursed, very cursed. Uh, Misha apocalypse was very cursed. Do y'all remember? They, there was like multiple Misha apocalypses and then one of the Misha apocalypses, they tried to make it like his son and Misha was like, y'all fucking stop. Um, he said it nicer because he's a real nice person, but uh, basically that's what he said. And then the Misha apocalypse trend died. <gasps> I remember that. That was insane. Oh, Dashcon. Okay, so we got a few posts from Dashcon now. Greetings from Dashcon. I mean, I remember people were so excited about this, y'all. And back in the day, like, I think back in the day, like, we didn't understand. We didn't understand that the people trying to organize DashCon had, ne had, had no idea what they were doing. Um, so, like, we all thought it was, we all legit thought it was going to happen. We all legit thought it was going to happen. And I feel like after DashCon failed so bad, like, the mood on Tumblr totally shifted after that. Like, I don't think, <laughs> oh, my God. Thumper! <laughs> there are some deep dives on YouTube about DashCon that um, I strongly recommend you watch all of them. They are entertaining as hell and will take you the hell back. Didn't it turn into a, the Misha scavenger hunt? Yeah, kind of. I think it did. 
Um, let's see about this one. Attention to all DashCon attendees. Someone urinated in the ball pit while it was empty and posted it in the tag. Stay out of the ball pits. <gasps> there are people who think this is a joke. This is not a joke. Please stay out of the ball pit for the safety of your health. This was a thing. Someone peed in the ball pit. Oh my god, I remember this. If you were, like, browsing Tumblr that day that this was going on, it was, like, bonkers. It was, like, bonkers ridiculous. Like, and oh, it was just insane. Gish wishes. Oh, yeah, gish, gish wis. Yeah, gish wis. I remember that. Um, <laughs> we had Misha Apocalypse backfires on April 1 day because the whole Discord disguised themselves as the owner. <gasps> oh! Oh shit, what a good idea. Oh my god, what a good idea. Um, I love it. Okay, I I know exactly who I want to prank with that for for April. Um, she'll probably watch this video. Shit. <laughs> oh, what a good idea for April 1st. Mm, okay. It's a good joke because it's hilarious and not like um, you know, not not negative in any way. I like it. Okay. Once, a girl in my class stood at the front of the room and came out as a lesbian. The entire class started laughing at her and being plain rude. I stood up and silenced the whole class as I clapped. Then, when everyone was silent, I also came out as a lesbian. The girl smiled and ran over to hug me, thanking me for getting them to stop. We became friends and I soon developed the biggest crush on her. I asked her out and she said yes. She had the same reply to me when I asked her to marry me. Aww, this was, uh, this post, there were so many stories, like fake stories, fake stories on Tumblr or like embellished stories on Tumblr. And we, this was like such a different time in the internet, like really before everyone started being truly themselves on Tumblr. Um, <laughs> oh my God, Kendra, uh, I would laugh. I would think that's really funny. Um. <clears throat> But there were all there were like these posts on Tumblr that were like this, right? That were like so like this clearly isn't a true story. And yet it would get passed around. I feel like Tumblr for the for the for the longest time was like the last bastion of being so chaotic on the internet and it not being about like your own personal self, right? That's not the case. That's not the way the internet is anymore. But in early Tumblr days, that was like the last place you could still do all that insanity. This is a, this post is a really good example of that. All right, let's go forward. Roll down. Oh boy, look what we have to look forward to here. <gasps> okay. What is this? Oh, more Mish Apocalypse. <gasps> Y'all remember Supernatural? Supernatural had a gift for everything and every gift was edited. It was like, it was brilliant the version of who we wanted to be. Oh my God, y'all don't want to be me. Stop it. <clears throat> okay. Let's see this. Let's go back to the top of this. What is this? Good old pewdiespaz. Oh, I'm not saying that. He's actually extremely smart, taking advantage of all the little... Oh... Is this, is this going to be like a take? I don't remember this post. Is this going to be like a PewDiePie takedown? Or is this like when he had all a bunch of stands? Let's see. Do any of y'all, do y'all remember this? Do y'all remember this post? I don't remember this post. I bet right now 90% of you are thinking, oh God, why this bitch? But shut up and let me speak funny mouth words. You know who he is? A famous YouTuber who makes gaming videos for your amusement. Yuz is actually a pretty nice guy. His humor may not be your type. Is a real reason to directly insult this guy. I mean, we have him doing charities. We have him posting an apology video. He repeatedly states that he would like to try whatever his fans wish him to try. I think this is like a PewDiePie stand stand post. Imagine standing PewDiePie um, in 2020. I can't. It's gotten to the point where even if his fans say his name, they get a snarky response from that one guy. So Steve Tump is Steve Stump Grinder. Is he like the PewDiePie hater? No, that post is from is different. Okay. That's because some fans go on other gaming YouTube channels and yell that they're copying Pewds. But that doesn't mean Pewds is a bad person. Oh, sorry. I mm -hmm. might disagree a little on his uh, on the quality of PewDiePie as a person. 
Uh, so instead of relentlessly bashing some nice Swedish dude like it was going out of style, try to restrain. This is not coming from a 13-year-old fanboy. Doubt. This is coming from a 20-year-old weirdo that's just getting tired of this shit. Hey, thank you for reading. Have a kitty marshmallow. Oh my god. I can't. I can't. Uh, let's see what the tags say. Oh, this is from 2014. Oh my god. Mm. It's hard. It's hard for me to, bl to blame 2014, but still. But still. Um, this is almost too much even for a seasoned internet historian such as myself. Yeah, uh, I feel a little overwhelmed reading that one. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Do y'all remember like this kind of style, um, this kind of style art where people would like personify anything and freaking everything? I remember this. Um, this was really big on Tumblr. These are some pretty good ones actually, but it's just, it's just so weird. Uh, this is, and this is the kind of stuff I miss about Tumblr. Everything on Tumblr was so weird there's no harry potter gif about perky nipples oh my god <laughs> there really isn't there isn't thumper i don't know yeah um gijinkas that's what they're called exactly girl with the dragon tattoo does not have gifts for everything yeah <laughs> uh the clock and notebook from don't hug me i'm scared oh my god yeah oh one year until dash con can we get 2014 notes in honor of the occasion? Dashcon, we, we remember you. We remember. Okay, what's this say? Why is, why is the font so weird? Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, there we go. This past weekend, I attended Dashcon, the first con exclusively devoted to Tumblr users because of poor management by staff that was well-intentioned but inexperienced young and lacking resources. That's not exactly true. Look at the videos on YouTube. The con suffered a couple of major public calamities, including desperate mid-con plea for emergency cash on their Tumblr site. That immediately became the target of contempt and ridicule. Um, the hostility of this rhetoric often conflated the organizers with the attendees who are primarily female and queer teens, many of whom were local attending their first con. Yeah, I mean, that's the case. As a counter to this discourse, I want to highlight some of the more productive and cultural aspects and implications of the con. For attendees, it is a vital self-space for self-expression and community bonding. Oh my god, they're trying to defend Dashcon. They're trying to defend Dashcon. Um, mm. Uh, this is not, I, I don't, I don't remember, I don't know, I don't, I don't remember anyone really honestly trying to defend it. I remember when it happened, like, the people that ran it trying to defend a lot of stuff. But as far as I remember, the people that were actually there hated everything about it. <laughs> oh my god. So, like, I don't know. I don't know who would, I don't know who would post something like this. Uh, insane. Oh my god. Exposure of teenagers to an infamous informational 18 BDSM panel. I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> uh, I mean, there are definitely conventions where this is appropriate, but I don't know. I don't know if Dashcon would be one of them. I don't. Did they have that? That sounds crazy. Okay. Here's another Dashcon. The 2014 Convention Center. So remember this? Remember when they were like posting all like the stuff about um, like how to sign up and all these all the things about Dashcon and it looked like they had their shit together. Like I remember seeing this post and it was posts like this that made me not realize how much of a train wreck Dashcon was going to be. Posts like this, like posts like this or why I was like, oh, what's such a cute idea? Too bad I can't go. You know what I mean? So it's just crazy. <clears throat> Dash con. Oh, OK. Remember, OK, old Tumblr was so like this, right? Like there'd be a post and there would just be endless gifts underneath it. Just this style of post is so freaking Tumblr. Hmm. Okay, I swear to God, if one more stupid fandom ruins a beautiful text post, I'm calling the police. <gasps> and everybody's posting the police. <laughs> oh my God. This was so Tumblr though. And this is like the elements of Tumblr that I really miss. Like this, this chaos of how we worked around, how weirdly the site was set up. So good. Okay. Oh, what's going on here? What if Romney won the election, but Obama refused to step down and he was like, I recognize the country has made a decision, but given that it's a stupid ass decision, I've elected to ignore it. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. Ah! 
considering everything that's going on right now, like this, this post gives me so much cringe. Oh my God, so much cringe. Whew. Whew, so much cringe. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Mm. I mean, this was this was the um, the Romney Obama one when Obama was going for a second term, though. So, Whew. OK. Whew. Chills. Facebook got Mark. MySpace got Tom. Be proud, Tumblr people. We have a hot daddy. This dude looks this is this is the guy. This dude looks 22. When you see the maker of Tumblr on your dashboard, always reblog. Number one rule of Tumblr. I don't remember this post. I gotta be freaking honest. I guess nobody was interested in reblogging this that I was following. Don't remember this one. This dude's not a daddy. He looks like he's 22. <laughs> I'm sure he's not. He's probably not in this photo that age, but that's what he looks like to me. Okay. <laughs> Do you remember that post? And I was cringing back then too. Yeah, I think that was what was so beautiful about Tumblr. Like we were all having fun and cringing at ourselves at the same time. And it was just, it was just a grand old time for all of us weird kids. Oh, here we go. Here's another lots of gifts. If Yahoo does end up buying Tumblr and shuts it down, I just wanted everyone to know that you've all been truly wonderful people and it was an honor blogging with you all. Aww, I do feel that. I do feel that. I feel like when Yahoo bought Tumblr, that was like the beginning of the end, right? Like that was the beginning of the end that eventually we ended up with Tumblr the way it is now, which is basically dead, basically the way that LiveJournal was after strike through. It's true. Um, yeah. Oh, what a nice post. What a nice post. Okay. Next page. Roll down. Oh, I saw a John Green. Okay, what's this? Oh my god, remember when you put so much stuff on a post that you couldn't even see it anymore? <laughs> like, you can barely read this. Say something to me. I bet I can make it about Supernatural. Super Custard Pudding. Pudding Dean GIF. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the Great Titty Purge was truly a sad time for Tumblr. It truly was. Uh, it killed the site, right? It killed the site. Um, no one wants to go on a website, a social media site where you're not allowed to post titties. It's just the case. It's just how the internet works. I'm so sorry. And they made it all about, all about Supernatural. <laughs> Y'all, the first several seasons of Supernatural were so good. And then the show went so downhill and so sad. But those first five seasons especially, quality television. So good. Okay. And asexual and pansexual become roommates and have wacky adventures. The show is called All or Nothing. <laughs> cute <laughs> exactly thumper they got rid they got rid of all the boobs and all the porn bots still existed like the thing that we actually wanted them to solve was gone like it it's still there and i'm sure they're still there to this day even though i don't go on tumblr anymore i'm sure they're still there there's no way <sighs> i like season six <laughs> i mean you can i don't hate i i, I don't hate a lot of the um seasons after it season six is fine it's just that season five was clearly the ending that was intended you know what i mean um or to have perfectly wholesome posts blocked by robots where you got to defend them or let them die in limbo oh yeah i remember that per like the bot to detect if you were posting um you know uh, a pornographic images or not was like the stupidest bot i've ever seen it's like the stupidest bot oh my god <laughs> it's cookie dough yeah i mean yeah, there were there was like sand like sand like people would post pictures of like a beach and it would get flagged because sand is vaguely flesh colored right it's stupid um plot twist the asexual is super outgoing and a huge flirt while the pansexual is extremely socially awkward and has trouble ordering coffee let alone getting a date i don't know this sounds cute i i would watch this i would read this um let's see what do they say like this what's this this didn't actually happen. Like, this isn't an actual show. Wait, where did it open? Oh, I don't remember this ever coming out. Apparently it got, it got funded, but I don't, this never happened, did it? Like, that, that didn't happen. I don't remember it. Oh, well. Oh, didn't mean to close that last tab. Meant to go back. There we go. Okay, back where we were. Where's my... Oh, it's going to make me... It wants me to update Chrome. What's the command to go back to full screen? I think it's Control F11. No, Alt F11? 
I don't know how to use a computer, y'all. Oh, well, this is fine. We won't do full screen. Because I'm not going to update Chrome right now. Okay. So in class today, someone insulted Jennifer Lawrence. by Oh, my God. We were so obsessed with Jennifer Lawrence, y'all. Tumblr, we were so obsessed. F11. Yeah, I just pressed it. It's not... There it goes. Okay. Thank you. Um... <laughs> <gasps> oh my gosh um like the cop and the bear so the money the thousands of dollars just went poof yeah i mean that would happen all the time on these like kickstarter type things especially tumblr ones i feel like but that still happens to this day like that still happens um someone just insulted jennifer lawrence by calling her a butterface and i stood up and yelled no one insults the princess of tumblr <laughs> but then someone else yelled everyone knows the princess of tumblr is dean winchester true <laughs> True. Oh, I understood it. I was there for it. Um, J Law was awesome. I think I think we were mostly projecting uh I think we were mostly projecting how much we loved Hunger Games and the fact that Jennifer Lawrence um, you know, refused to attempt to lose weight, which was, you know, that was like that was like top feminism, right? Like that was like top feminism in uh in, in Tumblr days. I can't even. Oh, <laughs> Oh, thank you, Kendra. I will. Okay. Y'all gonna make me have to um pause and go pee before the end of the stream. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, here we go. There's the John Green post. Why does my cat lick me? And then there, it's a grid of John Green gifts. I miss making those tiny little gifts. I miss making those tiny little gifts on Tumblr. Making gifts was so much fun, y'all. If Tumblr was still a thing... No lie, I would do a gift making stream. Like to teach y'all how to make gifts. Like to teach y'all how to make gifts on Tumblr, but that's just not a thing anymore. So we're not, you know, we can't really do that. But I love making gifts. I would spend so much time making gifts for Tumblr. I believe in you, Thumper. I just can't do it. Um, I just can't. I can't. Too much pain. There's too much pain on the Tumblr for me. See that girl in the back of the class you just called quiet? She doesn't care. She was thinking about gay fanfic. Can't deny. Can't deny. Oh my gosh. I wish this energy was still like a thing. You know what I mean? I feel like it gets so moralistic nowadays. Like this energy is like all but depleted. But this is, I, I'm still trying to hold this energy up. <laughs> I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best still trying to hold this energy up. Not to make everyone hate me, but am I supposed to find Benedict Cumberbatch adorable? No. <laughs> if you don't mind him, at least slightly adorable, they actually take away your tumbler. It is John. Oh my God! It was John Green. Everything is John Green. We're all John Green, <gasps> y'all. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? I had, I went from no feelings about Benedict Cumberbatch to strong negative feelings about Benedict Cumberbatch because of Tumblr. I saw his face so much on Tumblr, they made me hate him. <laughs> Oh my god, y'all. Um, I even slept on seeing Doctor Strange for the longest time because I was just like, I don't know if I'm ready to see two hours of Benedict Cumberbatch's face still. And that was years. That was years after Tumblr's Benedict Cumberbatch obsession ended. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> Same! That's exactly, I mean, I never really thought he was kind of cute. I just thought he was like, he was a person. You know what I mean? I was like, okay, he's a person, whatever. But then he was just shoved in my face so much, so much that I couldn't handle it. I was like, he actively started looking ugly to me, which is so sad. Like he's a person and I shouldn't be calling him ugly. And it's not his fault. Like he's not really ugly. It's just that I saw his face 30 times a day. I couldn't take it anymore. <gasps> yes exactly neutral to kill the hammerhead fuck yeah pretty much 
Um, pretty much. Like, I, I'm, I couldn't. I couldn't. <sighs> oh, I've never really watched interviews with him, so I couldn't say. But, you know, I mean, everyone, every, all Hollywood actors are kind of weird and we, weird and, um, and so I guess I don't, I don't ever really expect to like them as people. <laughs> <laughs> if that makes any sense, because most of the ones that I've gotten into, Landon, you made it. Oh, my God. Um, oh, shoot. So you have no idea what I'm saying. Y'all tell Landon I'm, I'm saying hi to her. <laughs> I'm just a lover of all things Sherlock Holmes. I understand. Um, and I'm sorry to tell you, Winnie, that Benedict Cumberbatch's version of Sherlock is the worst version of Sherlock. It's a fact. Sorry to serve that tea to you but you know it is the tea and i and i'm and i'm here for it okay let's move on i don't want to talk about benedict cumberbatch anymore okay i know you're on the internet so you are constantly being distracted by photos of ryan gosling and homoerotic sherlock watercolors yes yes we were <laughs> Oh my god, I turn up my volume for this. <laughs> Landon, I love you. Uh, but I can't help that all of my fandom opinions are correct and valid and facts. I can't help it. I can't help it. <laughs> okay. A boy at a party tonight literally told me not to eat a slice of pizza because I wouldn't want to put on any more weight. Do you know who I am? Y'all, the RDA J action movies were better. Thank you, Kendra, for having the correct opinion. Okay, y'all, um, pizza doesn't come to my streams. I don't know, pizza, if you watch these afterwards. I had, when, when I first started seeing you on Discord, I had this, like, little moment of, what if they're pizza? What if they're, like, pizza from Tumblr? And then I realized, obviously, you weren't. But I had this little, like, headcanon fantasy for, for like, a hot minute that you were this pizza. I just thought you should know that. <laughs> but elementary is the best Watson. Elementary is also good. So that is a correct opinion. We're moving on from Sherlock, y'all. I'm sure Sherlock will come back though. So then you'll be talking about it all again. Okay. Um, so am I treating myself to a day at DashCon? Thing is, I can only go one day and both Friday, and Saturday have really cool things planned. Which day should I go? Help me out. Saturday has the ball pit. Y'all. I feel so bad for this sad teenager. So much hopes. Died in the ball pit. Okay. Hey, Justin Bieber, how much are you paying your friend for pretending it was his cocaine and taking the fall for you? This isn't ridiculous. This is community. This is looking out for each other. Thanks to these people, we have the most views in three years. We're grateful and we'll return the favor. Fandom stick together. Oh my god, y'all. Nothing scares me more. Oh my god. Posts like this, posts like this are Tumblr. They are Tumblr. Whew. Okay, next page. How are we doing, y'all? How are we doing? Are we cringing enough yet? Are you feeling the cringe with me? This is this is much more fun than um than playing Outlast. Uh, why did I do that? I have no idea. This is a way better idea. Okay. When people say a serial killer is hot, try again. I will not try again. Thank you. True, true. Eh. True, true. Big true. Okay. Best thing about the first season of um, what was that show? The Netflix show, the Marvel Netflix show, Jessica Jones. That's the one. Yes. Okay. Where's the one slur post? I don't know. Hopefully we will find some. Close to 2,800 teenagers get pregnant each day. Reblog if you like pizza. Okay. I mean, I would reblog that. I'm pretty sure I did reblog that. Like, I remember this post and I'm pretty sure I did reblog that. One slur, self cessed Hell yes. <clears throat> Should have... <gasps> Thumper! Why wasn't it called Twisler? We missed such an opportunity. Mm. Tumblr is so boring with all you nerds at DashCon. You better come back with some amazing tales. Oh, they did. They did come back with some amazing tales. 
The person I reblogged this from deserves an extra hour in the ball pit. Ah! Oh my god. Okay. According to Tumblr, all straight white males are evil. You know who's straight and white, your precious fucking Sam and Dean, or Benny Dick Cumbercube, or fucking Dr. Wynn. They're straight, they're white, they're males. Are they all evil too? I lost like 13 followers and I will still never regret this. <gasps> oh my god, what Tumblr energy is this? Uh, <laughs> I am being dealt psychic damage right now. OMFG stupid people on Tumblr like need to go, whoa, hostile what oh my god people are for real mad people were for real mad about this post i didn't know people were for real mad i think i i saw this version of it right here that that ended with this um i think that's the version that that i was that i saw <laughs> i deserve an extra hour in the ball pit no one deserves an extra hour in the ball pit kendra it has pee in it okay <laughs> when people can't handle the truth true it's all the sjw's gone wild side of tumblr you know but like there was a time where that stuff was contained. It's like everywhere now. I mean, y'all can watch the Anties episode of the, of the, um, of the, uh, uh, interstage window stream. We didn't know it would go so far. Okay. A store where you can buy all the things you see in Tumblr. Do celebrities count? Can you pay in feels instead of money? I mean, if it's a Tumblr store, you should. How the fuck do you pay in feels? Like, just cry at the cash machine until they nod and hand you the thing. Seems legit. Man, I wish that worked. You know, if I go to McDonald's and cry, will they hand me a hamburger? I wonder. Hmm. Oh, more ball pit. Original watercolor of the DashCon 2014 ball pit. Never forget. Buy it now price 17k. Are you telling me there is fan art? Of course there was fan art. Kendra, you can have this. You can have this watercolor of the ball pit. That seems, like, appropriate. Oh. Okay, let's keep going. Logging into Tumblr. Into the toilet I go. That is... Yep. That's, uh, that's basically how it was. Is that John Green? Is it meaningful or is it bbc is bbc just too cheap to buy other props i mean the second one sherlock fandom you okay can you spot the vegan was that a hipster post or doctor who is it night bloggers or just australians <laughs> this was my favorite game to play on tumblr night bloggers or just australians you can never tell that is exactly where it should go kendra above the marriage bed definitely Hard mode. Is it the Australian night bloggers? Oh, shit. The new nerve wracking. Did I or did I not press anon? Oh, my God. I've had that. No, I never sent like anon hate or anything, but I definitely sent people um, embarrassing praise or questions that I didn't want my name attached to. So, yeah. This was a terror. Are they mad or just too busy to reply? This was a role player. Man, this was definitely a Tumblr, Tumblr role player that wrote these two. Legit. Is this fic yet or? <laughs> I'm more fucked up sending anons to role play accounts than not hitting anon. Yeah, oh my god. I, I was always scared that I didn't hit anon. I don't remember if I actually had an instance where I didn't, but I was always scared, right? Somehow I completely missed the once their worship thing. Don't know how you missed it. It was literally everywhere. <clears throat> oh, here's another dash con. Um, okay, I'm not going to read that out because there's like whole dash con videos on YouTube. Y'all can go watch that are much better than me reading the dash con posts. Bam! There he is. Okay, we're going to get to him in a second. Why do you say Anon like this? Like what? Anon? Anonymous? Oh, I guess because I'm saying Anon instead of Anon. Anon, I don't know. I'm from the South. I, sometimes I say, say things weird. The ball pit deflated. I repeat, the ball pit deflated. Do you say it like a fucking Shakespearean character? I don't know. Do I? Are you, are, does Kendra? I don't know. Of course I do. Anon. So I guess this is Kendra. Anon. <laughs> All right. 
Guess I'll just step inside this police box and arrest myself. <gasps> oh, no. Okay. My hostage. Go to sleep. <gasps> How perfect is this? Ah, <gasps> uh, yeah. Telling little stories in random ass gifts from different things. You know what, Kendra? Anon. Yeah, Winnie, if you weren't there until 2016, then, um, then yeah, you would have totally missed the one slur thing. Let's see. What's this? I don't... Where's the start of this? Oh, I guess just because they're screaming? And then Supernatural do something. Why do I have to? Oh, y'all. I still got... I gotta watch more seasons of Hannibal. I only watched the first season still so far. Okay. Hate all of you. Yeah, I don't. This post, I don't know. It doesn't evoke. It doesn't evoke the thing in me. The gifts. The gifts. Uh, I feel like a way more reaction to them. How to find any post on this godforsaken website? The post I made about the search function on this site being so garbage has a ton of notes and it's way too long for me to want to add on to. So I'll just leave a good clear example of how to find any post on the site as long as it's still on someone's blog. Yes. Oh my god. Y'all, Tumblr search was garbage, and it stayed garbage, and it never got better. It changed several times, but it was always bad, no matter what iteration. So this is how you, like, tell Google to search Tumblr for you, and then you get a good search, which is true. Kendra, do you want to come and, and say... Anon for us. I can hop in the Discord and you're welcome to. Just say the word so we can all hear you pronounce Anon wrong. I genuinely believe that 2012 was the optimal Tumblr experience. Like, if you didn't live through 2012, you haven't fully understood how much of a hell site this is to jog people's memories. Oh my god. Yeah, 2012 was like peak Tumblr. Peak Tumblr. I'm not in the, I'm not in the Discord right now, so you can't, you can't just like you can't just like hop in, but just tell me and you can come because I I'm kind of curious. Like, do you really say anon? Like, that sounds really strange to me. OK, how do you even say this? Francidium? I don't I don't know. Quirky Brittany, just girly things. I remember all these blogs. I like your shoelaces. I stole them from the president. Oh, my God. I remember this post. I'm sure that post is somewhere on here. We still call porn fix smut and lemons. This should the citrus scale should come back, y'all. The citrus scale should come back. That was useful. Cole Sprouse's Tumblr social experiment. Oh my god, I remember this, y'all. Oh my god, I remember this. Um, 2012, I was graduating high school. Oh. Oh. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, at 2012, I was, um, I was already in my career. Like, I was done with school at that point. Uh, search got much worse after the titty purge. Yeah, I bet. Because, <clears throat> any, because yeah, like you're saying, anything marked as mature is not searchable. I don't even, I don't know how you say this, but I remember this. People would have, like, these weird Italian and Homestuck crossover ships and shipping the creators. Like, it was weird. It was crazy. Um, Super Who Lock. Super Who Lock is quintessential Tumblr. The Citrus Scale is much older than Tumblr there. Yes, absolutely it is. The Citrus Scale has been around for... It's the Citrus Scale, I'm pretty sure, is older than me. Um, so, yeah, it's been around for forever. Fuck you, Watson. Somehow being praised is the best comeback possible. Oh, my gosh. Hipster side of Tumblr versus fandom side of Tumblr. Ah, oh, the memories. Everything on here, like, Gangnam Style everywhere. Y'all, Gangnam Style is a bop. That song is still good. People being shamed from using memes or even saying the word meme. Yeah, Tumblr preferred GIFs. Get in the Discord cow. You're not in there. I'm looking at it. You're not in there, Kendra. You're not in there. So get in there and I will. Oh, you Facebook people think Tumblr is boring? Well, we'll find you, Supernatural fandom. Oh my god, and we were so, like, cheesy with the fandoms. I'm pretty sure that's Taylor Swift. No, that's Becky. Ah, I remember that. <laughs> what? Stuff squatting in my head and it won't leave. Oh, yeah, Hitalia is coming back. It is coming back. Um, <laughs> oh, memories. 
song mix-ups from people accidentally opening a bunch of tabs and playing music, but it was actually from a pop mix album. Oh yeah, I remember that. People would just lie about that they found this like mix of songs. Okay, I see you in there. Kendra, can you hear me? Okay, you're you're a little quiet. Talk again. Uh oh. There you go. That sounds much better. Okay. Okay. Grace us. It's it's a non. No. Yes, it's anonymous. You so anonymous. So anon. You are wrong. It's anon. 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 <laughs> you sound like you sound like okay. So you know the Envia Pinata that I've been playing on Interstage Window, right? The yes. the swans in that game, the swans in that game make this sound that's like, no, nah. that's what you sound like right now. That's what you sound no, like. Man. No, no. Not. It's, it's not. Anon. It's not. Anon. Wrong. When you get your precious feelings hurt anon. Has a different opinion. It's anon. Okay, here's, here's more. Um, okay. I... Sorry, Kendra. You're wrong. <laughs> No. Um, I don't know how much of a delay there is on the stream from like what you're seeing versus like me talking or anything. Um, oh, but I so here's another here's another Sherlock post for you guys. I guess we can start talking about Sherlock again for a minute. Um, even with those four numbers, there are countless possible combinations. Good luck with figuring out which one is the right one, you punk. And then so I agree. Um, <laughs> I won't get into it too much, but it really was truly bad. OK. I, I was so disappointed. Same. <clears throat> uh, especially since most of us didn't truly realize how bad it was until season three. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. You keep thinking the payoff is going to happen and then never happens. Uh, <laughs> what is this? Oh, this is like someone being a math nerd and then Sherlock underneath it. Okay, I get it. I don't remember this post, though. Are all the cast members welcome in the VC? I guess if you want to, Thumper, like, um, I can make sure, let me make sure you have rights to hop in there if you want to. Uh, da, da, da. Why the hell not, I say. Karen, why for our thou pronouncing a non incorrect word? Do you know what, do you, do you understand what I'm saying when I say it? Then it's not, not incorrect. Deny. Thy heresy and refuse thy heritage. There you go, Thumper. You can hop in now. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey! Okay. Um, oh, I guess I need on my score. <laughs> okay, anyways, y'all. Um, <laughs> this post, everything is going to be okay. When people turn a fictional character, it's often because they want an escape oh i do remember this gif um is there a lot of is there a lot of delay for you guys on the stream like can y'all pretty big delay it's a pretty um, big delay like the chat to the video yeah that's okay a pretty big one. here let me do this so that y'all can see actually what i'm doing when i do it i set up this like duplicator this camera duplicator thing i'm oh, trying yeah, to see if it will menu. work i'm trying to see if it will work it doesn't seem to be working. It is just gray right now. Yeah, I don't think it's working right. It Dang it. Um. Yeah, it's not working. Sorry. Oh well. It's all right. <clears throat> okay. Well, next. Like you're already you're already like describing what the posts are when you come across them anyway. So like, that's we'll true. Voice catch up. <laughs> <gasps> okay, so the posts were on now. Uh, everyone on Tumblr, and it's like uh, crashing okay, around the, them. How the I think Fort. Okay, good. Um, how I think 4chan users are acting, <gasps> and I'm just over here like, because really, why can't we just ship for Tumblr? <gasps> I remember this, y'all. I remember for Tumblr. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a whole. thing thing i remember I this one I remember this might have been RPOs. before we realized how uh heinous 4chan was but see it's not all heinous and it's still not all heinous it's just like certain boards on 4chan are garbage and then certain the ones, ones are like normal <laughs> yes and then certain ones are normal you know and i it's just crazy but that's like 4chan different boards are totally different worlds right oh yeah wasn't uh the ballad of eduardo a 4chan mm -hmm. or something like that mm -hmm. love that story it's one of my favorites <laughs> yep if we come across it we'll read it 
All right. It's a long post. It is super long, but we'll we'll read at least the beginning of it. Um, I remember that one. It's real good. Okay. Every URL that reblogs this will be written in a book and shown to my homophobic dab. Oh, this is reblog if you're not homophobic. You would but see this. But also it's like, you know, some random 47-year-old man is going to read this book of, like, you know, Dean's titties. Oh, my God. And he's going to be like, oh, man, I was so wrong about gay people. <gasps> you know what? On Tumblr, on Tumblr, we knew it was all lies, but we had fun anyway. Matter. We had like fun anyway. Chicken. Okay, here we go. Onceler gift set. This is the sexy Onceler gift set. I know if y'all saw this, you know exactly what gift set it is, even though the stream probably hasn't caught up. How um, bad be? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so I never actually got into role playing in the Onceler fandom. I got intimidated because it was so freaking ginormous. But yeah. I would follow like the Ask blogs and look at all oh. that. Oh my God, it was so much fun. This was like the Pretty craziest cool. fandom. Greedler, yes. And you would ship yeah. like one slur and Greedler together. Mm. It was so good. It was so, it was so insane. Okay. That's why it was good. Oh, here's some, there's some more one slur on this page. Okay. Oh gosh, that, oh, here we go. This is the, like the one slur, like smiling awkwardly at the camera with his um guitar at the beginning of the song. So everyone loves this shot because he leans towards the screen. He's looking right at you, yada, yada. I actually always get distracted by his hand on his chest. He's doing that. You've hurt me emotionally gesture in response to being called bad. It's pretty funny for him to be essentially going, well, what about my feelings? And it's perfectly self-centered, but at the same time, it gets me a little, oh, I'm wounded gesture. It's a theatrical thing to do, like always, and it's a little like putting your hand on your chest to take a bow, drawing attention to yourself as he leaps into the roles as typical self-absorbed, spoiled lead guitarist. He's deflecting all the arguments against this development by making it about himself. Doesn't anyone care about his feelings? <laughs> do y'all remember this post? Like, it goes on for a couple more paragraphs. And it's just like, it's just like this, like, ridiculous, um, ri this absolutely ridiculous, like, way too into a description of this one freaking frame insane i was avoiding the one slurs back in the day yeah i understand jojo <laughs> i understand okay i can't I do manage to avoid the one slurs but that was more of an active effort than anything else um being a very small ask blog helped though oh yeah well because yeah you were actually in the ask blog circle right i yeah, I was Ask Stripper Balthazar. Yeah, so you were doing it. I didn't ever have an Ask blog, but I would totally send things to Ask blogs all the time. So I followed a whole bunch of them. I can't even read this post. Like this post has so many replies, it's like totally jacked up on this theme. Um, yeah, so, oh well. I think this is one of the ones where you just, maybe you just don't want to. Yeah, but here we go. Here's another Onceler post. <laughs> oh my, <laughs> this is, how did so many smirks end up in my folder? <laughs> Y'all, this was so, this was so crazy. Like, no one cared about the Lorax, right? Like, nobody cared about anything else in this movie. Just once. It was, it, it was Cheeto Danny DeVito. I know. But, like, there is, there was other characters in the movie. No one cared. We did not care. All we cared about was Onceler. He just, like, hit all those things. All those things that Tumblr loves. Okay. What's this next one? Man, how soon we forget? History is being unwritten before our eyes. Night Vale had to pull out of Dashcon. Yes, because Dashcon refused to pay them. Oh, yeah, this was a whole other part of Dashcon where, like, welcome to Night Vale. People were invited, but then, like, they didn't have, they had to, like, pay for their own rooms. And there was all this, like, all this stuff. And then they, they pulled out. They we're like, nope, we're not doing it. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh, here we go. <gasps> Here's the post. Here's the 4chan and Tumblr post with all the fan art on it. Okay, and then the then the 4chan um, uh, little image underneath it. Can we all stop war and just have sex? Tumblr is filled with desperate virgin girls. B is filled with desperate virgin guys. Do you not see the logic here? It could be beautiful. <laughs> I remember this post. This is gold. 4chan guy just green Slenderman. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Why? I don't know. And then Tumblr is like this emo goth anime girl. <laughs> I think that would be because of all of the weeaboos upon Tumblr. <laughs> it's true. But there were so many weeaboos on 4chan too, though. Oh, here's another Onceler post. This but they is... are not weeaboos. They are otakus. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it's a master post of his legs. The, the, the string bean legs. Oh, green because oh, of green text. This monster around. Oh, yeah, Jojo, it probably was green because of the green text. Mm, good point. Oh, I understand, Kendra. Go save the child. Okay. I guess Landon had to leave us because I don't think she's here anymore. Okay, uh, this post starts out, everyone on Tumblr should get a blue shirt and put their URL in the back with white letters and put a T somewhere on the front so we can all decide a day we wear them out so we could see all the other Tumblr people that live around us and we could take pictures with each other and it would be like a Tumblr day or something. What a god-awful idea. <laughs> but, like, wow. we were down for it. Like, these replies, like, people were down for it. Uh-uh. No, no, no. idea. <laughs> no, 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 no. Tumblr, like... I remember on, on Tumblr, there was, like, this button where you could attach it to your Facebook, and it was like, why? Like, Who that is the exact that? opposite of why I go on Tumblr. Right? It's not a front-facing social media. Right? I was like, no. Ew. <laughs> the point is that they don't know I'm there. Exactly. Oh, y'all remember this? Remember these posts that used to go around, like, Tumblr University, right? And it's, like, all the different classes for the different fandoms. Um, yeah. This was so fun. This was like so fun. I feel like this energy, this energy was um, such a good part of Tumblr. Oh, here's some Wantsler gifts. <clears throat> Again. Oh, it's a 3D oh, gift. Oh, yep. I remember uh, these, these 3D that's, gifts. That's, um, that's a nightmare image right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for it. I like it. I made Tumblr. Bitches love Tumblr. <laughs> this is the creator I'm image. <laughs> This is the creator image that I actually used to like see around the site and reblog. The other one, I, I, I don't remember it or I didn't come across it. I don't know. But this one I would come across and I would definitely reblog this one. All right. Next page. Oh, there's more. More Onesler. Some more 4chan rage and comics. Tumblr. Yep. Oh, Rage Comics. Um, the in best, honor of... The best meme is still the freaking bong one. <laughs> oh, maybe we'll see that one. Um... In honor of Benedict Cumberbatch's love of pointing at things. Okay, bye. <clears throat> I'm so serious when I say I will unfollow the fuck out of you if I see you reblogging that photo set of a cockatoo covered in chocolate. Oh, this was another one of those, like, this was another one of those, like, fake social justice things. Like, people lost their shit because they were so convinced that this bird was being, like, abused and in, in being covered in chocolate. And it was, like... Abuse. It didn't look even slightly real. It's and CGI. They were just losing their mind. Yeah, it's CGI from an Adam Sandler movie. Okay, and I know no one has seen a lot of recent a Adam Sandler movies because they're garbage. But <laughs> it didn't even look it's real. In particular, it Although didn't even look real. The new one, QB Halloween. Is oh the yeah, one. I saw the trailer for that and I was like, mm, no. Um, I mean, have you ever really seen an Adam Sandler movie and looked at the trailer and went, oh, yeah. I mean, that was like a good time. No, I do feel like his early movies, though, actually had some decent jokes in them for the time. But the problem is, like, he never updated himself. He's still trying to make those same jokes that were funny in, like, the, the mid 90s. And it's just like, it's not it's funny not anymore. It's not the mid 90s. I, yeah. <laughs> oh, my so God. much more abstract now with the things that we like. It's true. Oh, I remember oh. this one slur post. Um, oh, it's a G. Oh, G Poi. Do y'all remember G Poi? Oh. Where we used to say G Poi for selfie. I remember the that. The shortest picture of yourself. Yes, we used to say that for selfie. Um, oh, man. and I remember the first time I saw it, I was so confused, and someone had to explain it to me. And it was one of my early like, I think I'm starting to get old for the internet moments. <laughs> Because I had to have someone explain it to me, I couldn't figure it out, and I couldn't figure it, find the context. I just knew it meant, I just knew it meant selfie, but I didn't know how. Okay, oh, it's a hug compilation. Oh, yeah. oh, but this post was so good. Like it's all the hugs. Well, that one was uh, Hawkeye pointing an arrow at Loki's face. That wasn't exactly huggy. Well, because it goes after that. Like, okay, it's like, it's like all these nice gifts, right? And then you scroll down and. Then there's like a bunch of other random ones. I don't know why some of these are on here. But it was a hug gift compilation at the start. Oh, oh, you have swag. I bet that looks great on a resume. <laughs> you better run along with your purple coat, bow tie wearing ass. I got bitches who can tell me I got more swag than you ever will, baby. 
Oh my god. Um, I remember this, like, people people on Tumblr were so not friendly to memes, and they would put, like, they would put, like, antagonistic gifts under them just like this. Like, that was a whole thing, you know? Yeah, but it should have rhymed. It should have. <laughs> but it didn't. <laughs> okay, what's this one? Man of Tumblr. Oh, I remember this post. Yeah. There's a longer version of this that has There's way more gifts in it. The scrolling forever infinite version. That's yes. a very tolerable sized one. Yeah, this one's like this one's small. Um, but there's ones there. I swear I've seen versions of this that go on for freaking ever. Yep. Yep. All right. Um, more more Onceler. This time featuring Onceler's booty. Oh more tumblr 4chan fan art this was the ship y'all remember remember when we thought when we thought such things were possible never did we know the internet would become so divided i've only, i only saw like two of these fan arts in like the actual time it was coming out i wasn't really in the circles where that was like a big thing but i remember looking at it and going this is weird. <laughs> is it was this right here? This right here. It is failing the vibe check. Why? Are, <laughs> and like, I didn't even see any like d obvious four chan looking things. So it was like, where are where are the men's that are being promised here? Because all I just <laughs> see is weird. Whoever said it in the chat, I don't remember, but I think I think it was um I think saying you know he's green because of green text on four chan like that makes sense to me. Yeah, and okay, yeah. here's the original. The original I like your shoelaces post. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I reblogged this every time. I loved this post. I it never happened to me, right? Like it never happened to me, thank God, because if it happened in real life, I'd probably die of cringe. But I thought this concept was like so cool at the time. Like I thought this was the coolest thing. And uh and uh we I, I was like, someday maybe it will happen. It never happened, but I loved this post able to like just like get a vibe from people and tell like if they were on tumblr oh yeah right every single time i asked. oh yeah you so but can it. you can so get you you so can you're 100 percent right but, like you also can see it in their eyes where they're just like please tell me what part of me led you to know this so that way i can erase it <laughs> i don't know sometimes you just know i can't i can't tell you um it's like it's there's a but there's a radar to like you're you you do weird stuff on the internet like i don't know what that is but like i can sense it right like i can sense it and i and I, people sense it in me and this has actually happened at work now one time and i'm sure it will keep happening but somebody like because you know i'm on camera all the time at work right and you can see like these lights behind me because i use this desk for my work desk too and like they see my microphone set up and all this stuff and so one person like totally clocked me and they're like oh um do you have a youtube channel and i was like sure do and then we just moved the fuck right on in the conversation yep. and did not say anything else about it because i think he i don't think he expected me to just say yes um, but I feel like he was absolutely attempting to clock me. It's like, I think you're a weird internet person. And I basically responded as, sure am, okay, moving on. <laughs> it was so crazy. <clears throat> Nobody's seen my house like that, but they just look at me and my personality and my sense of humor, and they're just like, mmm, you're a little weirdo, <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. Okay, next yeah. post. Son, a little birdie told me that you have been doing drugs. It seems to me the only person who's been doing drugs is you, since you apparently talk to birds. Uh... Yeah, just do that to your actual parent. Uh, consequences. <laughs> okay, next page. Oh, I see lots of um, Dean on that. And another post that I'm not going to be able to read. That's okay, though. Oh, oh that's, the, that's the people putting on hats post. That oh time like it starts off with fedoras to be like you know turning into the white knight milady oh and, and then it changes the I... Hats. I remember that now like, um supreme snapbacks kind of things and yeah that i one. remember i remember okay so some more once i remember this post um it, once there was all about the swag right that was great what's this one okay a love story oh tumblr i'm worried oh, he's life. found out about us now stop it, that's crazy talk, babe. Don't think about him when we're together. Oh, Tumblr. So this is where you've been. No, my love, he found us. No. Yay. Don't worry, babe. He won't come between us ever again. Oh, Tumblr. <laughs> Not so fast. This was a good comic. I laughed. I remember this. <clears throat> oh, 
Hal's mustache is speaking. Yes. <laughs> okay, now that you say it's the hat post and I'm kind of looking at the bottom of it, I do vaguely remember this post now. So we can still see, you can still, you guys can still see the end of it. Um, oh my God, it goes on forever. Forever and ever. And now we can't tell what's going on. Oh well, let's scroll up. And up and up and up. Okay, shoelaces post again. I think this is just an updated version of the shoelaces post. Yeah. More Onceler. Things that will always be hot to me. People in suits. People in suits with ties. When people wearing ties loosen them to take them off little by little. When people put on their ties little by little. People wearing gloves. When people in gloves slowly slide them up and down their arm. People who can pull off wearing a fedora or a top hat. Shall I sum it all up in one word? Onceler. We were so thirsty, y'all, for this, like, CG man. I cannot believe. All right. Here's another GIF post. Differences between normal people and me. Normal people when they laugh, and then me spitting all over the place. Normal people when they see their idol. <gasps> oh, my God. This GIF with the my body is ready caption. Uh, I remember. I remember using that as reaction GIF so often. Normal people walking. <laughs> <gasps> oh my gosh i miss reaction gifs um on tumblr i mean you can see like kind of reaction gifs like on discord on the desktop version but it's just not the same you know what i mean my friends say i, I sh will do it 100 percent, and i will i will never stop doing reaction gifs i send them in every single chat in every discord chat in any medium that allows me to post a link i'm gonna do reaction gifs you can't take it away from me and you should and you should keep doing it um, my friends say I shouldn't like Tom Hiddleston because he's too old. He's only 31. Imagine if they knew about, and then it's like all the dudes Tumblr loves with their ages. I remember this post. I remember See, this post. Um, and they're all in their think, 30s and 40s. Yeah, I think... Is, is RDJ the oldest one on there? Um, how, Yeah, I think he might be. Yeah, he's the oldest one on here. Y'all... I love me some John Barrowman. I just, I just want to say this for a second. Okay, so um, in in honor of certain things happening right now, I listened to um, my the movie version of the soundtrack for um, the producers today, and y'all, John Barrowman has a time. oh my he yes, it. he did. Oh, he does best the he does the best uh, the best version of that solo right the springtime for Hitler solo. Mm, yeah, yep. He's so good. Um, and it's only like, it's only a few minute part, right? But like, no lie for the movie he's version so is, good. yeah, he's, this is my favorite part. This is my favorite part of the soundtrack, favorite part of that, that version of the movie. Um, now the original movie is, is a much better movie. Okay. But I have seen the a more updated, like musical version way more just because of that one part with John Bar Barrowman. Uh, he's just so good. I love him so much. All these years, I thought it was pronounced Barrowman. Is, is it? it Barrowman? I have no idea. I only ever see it written, so I have no idea. I, don't, I never watched Torchwood or was big into him or anything like that, but he... Like, I tried to watch Torchwood. I tried to watch it for him, but the truth is it wasn't a very good show, so I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I might, be saying, I might be saying his name wrong. Um, yeah, this is another version of that same post, but it just has the 4chan image on the top and then the fan arts on the bottom. And one in where he's grabbing Tumblr's titties. I mean, don't have anymore. yeah, can't do this Seven anymore on Tumblr. That is ass. I don't understand. I don't understand, <laughs> but it's true. We can't trust Karen saying anything with an A in it. Get over yourself, Kendra. <clears throat> over yourself. Oh Oh my gosh. If Tumblr was a school. This is another one of those like Tumblr university posts. I just love these. I think they're so fun. Um, oh, Hannibal teaching biology. Yes. There used to be a video of tenant screaming, Borrowman, I should find that for reference. Um, and I probably just said it wrong again. Yeah, I don't know. It's also like Scottish. Yeah, so we can't really trust the way he pronounces things. You can, I trust it. <laughs> He's great though. Um, love him too. Uh... Yeah, this post, these po posts like this, like, I would always reblog these. They were so fun. All right, let's see what we're in store for on this page. Oh, that's a long one. More Onceler. Okay, more Onceler. 
Oh, here's a here's a just girly things. Don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. Oh. The serial killer ones were way better. Oh, they gave. Here's a shot where they gave Onceler a, a booty. <laughs> I think there was some post where it was like every thousand reblogs they would edit his ass to be bigger. <laughs> I believe it. Nostalgia is a dirty liar that insists things are better than they seemed. True. I mean, true. And what and what an image to to put on top for for that caption to be on. Super Hulock. Man, Super Hulock was like, this was like a whole thing. That was like, it was like such a whole thing. Like, oh my god. Okay, more Onceler uh, crawling at you and booty. Okay, we've seen, we've seen a lot of that. A uh, reminder that this is a free website with millions of users and zero ads that is run by normal human beings. You frickers need to stop complaining. Do you realize how much technological marvel this place is? Oh my god, now I feel kind of bad about complaining about staff all the time. Not really, but like for a half a second, I really did. Um, because that's oh, true. <laughs> your faces. <laughs> Who was the most attractive U.S. president of all time? It's not the gorgeous Barack Obama or the zesty Bill Clinton or the tragically beautiful John F. Kennedy or either of the Roosevelt's or even Abraham Lincoln. That's right, friends. It's Rutherford B. Hayes. Okay, they, well, they call sure. Bill Clinton zesty. That's what like they said. An Italian dressing. I mean, I guess, I guess because he played saxophone and that's zesty or something. I don't know. Like when they when they said that, like the image in my head was, you know, the Bill Clinton saxophone clip. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Apparently, but... apparently they're hot for Rutherford B. Hayes. I mean, cool. I guess. <laughs> can't can't relate. <laughs> okay, what's this? You need to know this. There's something about the nostalgia in a dirty liar pick that hits hard. I've been out here living most of my life longing for the past, and I goddamn cannot believe a one slur me made me realize that, yeah, nostalgia is a liar, and the past absolutely sucked. I mean, it's true, right? It's true. <laughs> the short-term pain of accepting the truth is much better than the long-term pain of believing in illusion. Aw, Tumblr, stop making me feel things. I'm just here to cringe. Oh, but this is a Homestuck post. So I, I still to this day do not really know what Homestuck is. Don't tell me I don't want to know. Okay, don't tell me. I've avoided it all these years. Let's keep it that way. So this is a Homestuck post. Apparently they're doing a panty raid. I have no idea what's going on, so it's we're just going to scroll past panty that. Raid one. It says, yeah, it says Homestuck panty raid, and it's like a comic. I don't know. I don't I know what's going on. I miss out on the panty raid. Okay. <laughs> you know the SpongeBob episode where they're trying to show Krabs a good time, and finally they go and raid <gasps> Mrs. Krabs Bloomers. Oh, I think it's like a version of that. But Homestuck. But Homestuck. Got it. Okay, I understand a little bit now. But that would also be why it is very long. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the yaoi face. Mm -hmm. Wait. So you were the you were the person who compiled volumes of bad yaoi in manga. Yeah, that would be me. <laughs> Gentlemen, look at this look at this God. look at this poor man's chin i can't yeah, yaoi hands are the things that freak me out the most you know what yaoi, yaoi hands, hands terrifying. when yaoi hands are re well done they are awesome okay and i say this 100 percent because i am totally a clamp fangirl and um I, I and knew you i stand to say that and i stand you know what tokyo babylon is getting a, a new series i'm here for it i can't wait i'm so ready oh my god Okay, and they are they are the um, the textbook definition of good yaoi hands, right? Everybody that's trying to do bad yaoi hands is because they're incorrectly copying clamp. I stand by that take. <clears throat> that's that's my yaoi knuckles. hands. That's my yaoi hands take. Okay. I've seen extra knuckles happen. <laughs> I mean, you're right. <laughs> I cannot deny that. But they are pretenders trying to be clamp, and they're just doing it badly. Okay. You know, it, it is what it is. <laughs> gentlemen nerd girls are the world's greatest underutilized romantic resource i mean john greed would say that uh i don't remember him saying it but i'm sure he did uh always reblog my fucking jam oh okay let's play this i intend to keep on bickering and bickering and turning more truculent trees into thieves oh and nothing is going to drop it i can't hear any of this because i don't have the stream on <gasps> It's okay, we're jamming out. <laughs> oh, the song. Yeah. Okay, so Thumper, what it was is it's like a, I this clip. It for a second, and I know the song. Yes, so. you know the song. Don't, 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 don't. Oh my God, that song. That song still gets me. Like now, I'm like, oh yeah. 
yeah, I love this song. This is my jam. <laughs> How bad we be. <laughs> this was like, this was like, um, you know, if, if TikTok was around, then that would be a TikTok song. You know what I mean? I'm not so sure that it isn't because TikTok lo- will latch onto the weirdest things. Like, True. Um, one of the big ones is the Jekyll and Hyde confrontation. Oh, like I've seen some TikToks the- of that. Yeah. I love that one. It's, it's a good one. It, I got, I latched upon the dolphin one at like two in the morning once and I was hysterical. You're right. I mean, you're right. Um, that, uh, also, like break my stride. And sometimes <laughs> that's not a new song. Sometimes I'll, I'll see like a song that I really get into on TikTok and then I'll like look it up on Spotify and the songs from like 2007. <laughs> It's oh, apparently. To predict what the Gen Zs will. Oh God, yeah, they're staring into my soul, all right. Yeah, too much. Suck it out of me with a crazy straw. It's images like this that made me go from neutral to get that fucking man off my screen. Like, I'm sorry. Like, Benny C, I'm sure you're a good person. Like, I, no. I don't like so- talking like this about you because I know you're real. But oh my God, Tumblr made you not, and it's not my fault. Um, apparently there's a one-star oh, yeah, TikToker, he Kendra says. Crazy com- so. He had some wild comments about autistic people. Oh, and, uh, and that turned you off to him? Oh, yeah, he compared them to animals uh, searching to fulfill their basic instincts. Cool, I mean, and... me too, but I'm not autistic. <laughs> what the yeah, fuck? <laughs> like, um, when, it was when him and Johnny Lee Miller were doing Frankenstein together as like, um, like they were switch off who's Frankenstein and who's the creature, mm-hmm. like every night. And as part of their studies to develop the creature, they visited a group home for autistic adults. Yeah. And that was his takeaway was that they were basically like animals. Oh, and that yeah. that was um, not a good take. Yeah. ET dubs. And he also said something about how, like, he was discriminated against for being posh. Oh, and, cold, um, cold takes. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't... I don't really, I try not to, like, get too into um, celebrities in that way, because, like, every every it's single one, not. it's better to not, because they're all freaking crazy, right? Like, like they, they are, and whenever you have Fame somebody, does things to brain. it does, and, and whenever you're somebody that's had, like, so much of yourself recorded, you're, you're eventually going to have crap that's awful. Like, someday, someday, something I said that was probably fine, that was probably fine when I said it is going to become gauche. And, um, and, uh, you know, people are going to be like, Karen, I can't believe you ever had that take, right? And it's like, sorry that I recorded a bunch for several years of my life, you know? I mean, and that's, that's just, so that's, I try not to pay too much attention to that because uh, no matter who it is, eventually I find something they said that I'm like, eh, cold take, don't like, you know? And then it's not into them anymore. Um, yeah, I think my big hang up on it is because the guy who bullied me relentlessly in high school. Oh, he out- did that? objectively like if i could observe this person in an objective sense he did turn out very attractive oh wow however because he was a shit to me i thought that he was the most hideous thing on earth and my friends did not get that they were just like but i mean you can't blame him it's like he's he's pretty nice looking i'm like no he's <laughs> a tan and i will judge you if you hang out with him i'm not sorry <laughs> i know what so, you mean like, every, every, like somebody could be the hottest man on earth and as soon as he says some fuck shit i'm just like mm, mm, interesting. interesting yeah my shovel will find your face <laughs> <laughs> i know what you mean okay apparently there was some heritage posts had some weird shadow banning so i'm trying to like scroll past those to get to some more actual heritage posts um oh my god y'all thumper I, i'm sure the stream is not caught up yet but can you guess what i'm scrolling past right now can you guess? Going past the fake Dean. Oh, nope. the sky post. The sky. The color of the sky. Oh my I god, this was the worst. Post, and I hate those. The worst. This is the fucking worst. Um, they, This is the I, original I one. Like what, what was the key code to go immediately to the bottom of a post? It was like J or something, something like, like that. that. Like, yeah. The key to get immediately to the bottom of the post. Yep, and I and I learned that key because of the stupid sky post because it would be on my dash every single day and I was so tired of scrolling past it. Ah. <laughs> oh, this is the this is the cocaine tweet that um that Jaren, Jared made at Justin Bieber and the replies underneath are like illegible. <clears throat> okay. Scroll down to the bottom. That one. I remember where he was just like calling him a girl and people were just like, dude, what? Uh, yeah. Oh my God. Those tweets are so weird. 
Um, okay. Weird. Okay, so here's another. Oh my God, the bedrooms. Yes, Tumblr University. Okay, so again, I loved these Tumblr University posts. Uh, I very much remember this one. It was like literally like you know how we would like have aesthetics for various things. Like this was like a Tumblr University aesthetic post before we learned that those should really just be like image posts instead of just a bunch of images with inside the text. Um, yeah, we figured out the mood boards and everything was better for it. Yeah, but this was before we figured that out. So like it's yeah. just it's just all the images inside the text. But oh my god, this post. Oh, I love this post. Um, so many memories. So many freaking memories. More Onceler. All right, so let's read this one. Let's take a moment to witness how fucking modern Onceler's movements are in this scene. He throws his hands up while standing. His arms are crossed, true pimp style. He makes sure m to move a hand back to steady grab his guitar because he's about to pelt another badass rift. All while continuing to throw more random hand signs than a rapper with his other hand. And all of this in sync with the words. Can you tell I really love this scene? Oh my god. People like people so overanalyzed freaking Onceler. I can't. Like these posts crack me up. Um thank you Kendra. I will I will hydrate. It's like they'll go after English teachers for asking them to think about the basic motifs in a work, but they'll do this about freaking Onceler hands. Exactly. Okay. Now we have to scroll back past the freaking sky post. Uh okay, there we go. Okay. Okay. Okay, Kendra. Thank you. I got it. I was slouching just ever so slightly. Um, and it's been an hour and a half, so I probably should sit up better. Okay. Look like a girl, act like a lady, think like a man, work like a boss. Just girly things. <gasps> oh, did you? Oh, you did one of the emo emoji unlocks too, I see. Really cool. Um, I don't, I don't know what other stuff to put on that, like little spell reagents thing that I set up. So if you have certain things that you'd like to see that you think are good, like things you'd like to do, because you get those from participating, right? Like you don't have to pay for those. So there's other cool stuff you can think of that you guys would like to see in there. Um, let me know. I can customize it. I can add more stuff. All right. Uh, this is a one slur leg appreciation post. Uh, and what's this one? Oh, I can barely read it. But here we go. I'm pretty sure... Uh, yes, it like this is yeah, the first one is not is not Jensen Ackles. The this is Jeremy one, Renner, right? Is uh, that right? I think, no, I think it was like they suspected it was Jeremy Renner. It turns out it's like I think a porn star. Oh, of course it is. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, it's an impeccable ass. I mean, it's very nice. Um, it um, it, it this is this is, is Onceler wishes, ass, right? And it's a good ass. Oh, if you have a pet, I've seen people do show pet for high numbers of these. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a good one. The only problem is that the the animals visit me when they want to visit me. You know what I mean? So they're not always in here with me. Um, but I could definitely, I could do something like that maybe. I have to think of a version of that that I could actually do. Because I'm not going like to go. Maybe when the pet enters the room, you could say, okay, if you want me to show the pet. you Yeah, can exactly. Me. Bingo. Like, oh, queen's visiting. Do y'all want to see? Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, Hitalia. More Hitalia. Oh, God. Oh, 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 my gosh. Not only is this a Hitalia post, this is one of those, like, bad PowerPoint posts. Okay, let's go to the oh, beginning. Hitalia. Someone who's never seen it. I love it. Japan, I am majestic and stoic. OMFG, Italy, cut the fucking shit out. True, that is exactly how Germany is in Hitalia. And tomatoes! Yes, this is accurate. Even if you've never seen it, obviously you know. Every Holy time fuck! I touch my cat's paw, I think in my brain, fun, 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 because it won't leave my head. <laughs> yes! Oh my god! And Natalia is coming back. I don't even know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if I can handle that kind of energy right now. But I'm gonna check it out. Like I'm. I'm gonna check it out and see. See how I feel. I find it bizarre that it's coming out now because I Same. feel like it's not. It's not for like, now. It's not for now. It's not for now at all. This is it's is not the Zeitgeist right now, so I don't get it either. But maybe I'm just not clued into the Zeitgeist of Japan or something like that. Um gay. Yes, Hitalia was like super fucking gay. Um and it was awesome. Uh that was that was one of the things that that made me watch it essentially and uh got me into it. I was never like deep in the Hitalia fandom. It was so big and intimidating, right? And some of the people in there were fucking crazy. But My I definitely did it. watch it. Um, and I watched the English dub. Yep, that's what I watched too. therefore the accents, the bad accents, live in my brain rent-free. Like, I, 
I keep hearing <gasps> America, the Germany one especially fuck yeah. a lot. Coming again oh, to that. save the motherfucking day, yeah. The well, land of the, the free and the home of the like, gay. Mm-hmm. Ah, that's a different show, like Team America. Yeah, that's Team America World Police. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just like that song. I just like that song. Oh. And it fits. Yeah, I mean, he's he's given the vibe right here, so you know, I was inspired. Uh, um, where's the Bad Touch Prussia? Because I would like to talk about Bad Touch Prussia. I don't. I haven't seen that post come up yet. Um, um I mean, it was it wasn't so much a heritage post as much as a part of the Hitalia fandom that was really shady as hell. I don't. Um, I don't know about that part. Um, but if we uh, see the next Italia thing that we see, hopefully we can have it has some Prussia. I'm looking. I don't Prussia, see it. I can talk about Bad Touch Prussia. Yeah, I don't. I don't see Prussia on here. I guess this person yeah, didn't no. feel like that drawn into Prussia because I don't see them. Okay. I don't. Even, I didn't even really see Russia, and everybody loved Russia and Belarus. Yes. Freaking crazy. I was called Belarus because I was also freaking crazy in high school. And of course, in high school, you had to like be assigned which character you were. Well, duh. I was Belarus. Because I was insane. Oh, they I were not wrong. I see it. <laughs> I yeah, see I it. Um, I yeah, I didn't get I into it. I, like, it, I was like, I was older than that, right? So that wasn't yep. the case for me. Um, yeah. You know that wasn't when when I was in high school. The fandom was um, was Gundam Wing and an X nineteen ninety nine. That's what we were all into. Like me and my friends, like Gundam Wing was like the shit, um, and we made it super gay too. You know, it was like because all well, yeah. the pilots, because all the five pilots, right? Um, oh, Jojo. All right, bye. See you later. Um, bye. Good night. I assume you're going to bed. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, girl. Please legitimately register to legitimately vote for anyone who understands that your vagina is not a velociraptor. Oh my god. Oh my god. The the things we worry about about now. (laughs) That was about Romney. Yes, this is about Romney. I don't remember anything about that. Yeah, no, I mean... a lot of things, a lot of of weird things that he said. I don't remember anything about that. Yeah, um, he was, he was not so nice when it came to his views of women. Um, Well, yes. But I mean, like, specifically... The Velociraptor thing? Vagociraptor? Yeah. I don't... I'd have to go back and find the original quote. Um, I don't remember how that got started either. Exactly. I just... I just remember that, you know, he was not... He was not so nice on his... His thoughts when it came to... um, To women's rights um, or abortion or anything like that. Or women's health. Like, he was not... You know, he was not down. I remember the epic rap battles of history. Yes. That was good. (gasps) That was a good one. Yeah. Um, so getting bitch slapped by Lincoln. Yes. (laughs) Um, does anyone have an educated guess for the date of origin of the Don John Green cock sucking monologue? Oh my God. So this isn't the, this isn't the post. This isn't the post, but do y'all remember like John Green made this post and then because, yeah. And because Tumblr was, was true chaos, someone (laughs) reblogged it edited the text so that it made it look like John Green was talking about cock sucking. <laughs> Y'all. My favorite taste is <sighs> cock. Oh, Best post. It here it is. So and here dumb. it is. Here it is. Okay, here we go. Here we go. As I near 200,000 followers here at Fishing Boat Proceeds, I just wanted to say cock is one of my favorite tastes. Not only that, but balls smell amazing. It makes me go a little crazy on it, to be honest. Like I cannot get it far enough down my throat to be satisfied. I'm only satisfied when I feel those intense, powerful, salty, hot pumps of cum down my throat. When I sit back on my heels, look up at you with cum all over my mouth, and <laughs> I'm trying to do this without laughing, okay? Um, with slobber running down my neck hair all fucked up and wipe my mouth with the back of my arm and ask you if I did a good job. You cannot even speak because I've drained all your energy out of the tip of your dick. That's when I'm satisfied. <laughs> this post was so good. This, like, this exemplifies... This true heritage post. This, this exemplifies the true, like chaotic nature of tumblr this post was the anything. best and you and could edit what anybody said yes and do you remember like john green like reblogged this after it was edited like laughing about it and yep. because he noticed i feel like i feel like this was the tipping point right like because he noticed tumblr realized how broken and stupid their site was and that's what started prompting staff to make all these weird changes where you couldn't where reblogs and editing reblogs like just didn't work right and like it totally broke role playing on tumblr do you remember completely that completely broke 
Yes. Because I, like, you had to edit posts to make any roleplay posts remotely readable. Yep. You had to edit them. Because you had to delete and the they previous immediately one. immediately took it away from us. Yes. And then it was like, well, how the hell am I supposed to have a roleplay thread now? Yes. So here it is. Here's where he reblogged and commented, right? And, and, uh, so... Uh, I don't think he's actually offended. Like he's he's saying, here's what I find particularly offensive about this post, um, and uh, and he's basically he's basically saying like Wait, he he felt shaming? like some yeah he, he felt something about shaming as far as like people being like, gay and stuff like that. Like I don't I I didn't read it as shaming at all. Mm, yeah, I don't know, but you know everybody on Tumblr took things too seriously. So like he reblogged this right and uh, and talked about it and like I don't. I don't think his intention was actually to try to make Tumblr change anything, but I feel like this was when Tumblr started changing their site to try to make it functional, which totally broke the chaotic energy, which made it start making it started making it boring and made roleplay impossible on it. Oh gosh! What all right, time? we're not we're not going to read all the follow ups to that, but y'all know it's on the Heritage blog if uh, if you want to. Okay. Love that post. Yes, you could edit other people's posts. It was insane. Okay, we're going to do one more page, and then, like, it's getting close to two hours. We only got, y'all, we only looked at 10 pages of this. Out of 77 pages, we only looked at 10 pages. There is so much here, and um, and I would encourage you guys to take some time to look at this um, blog, because with everything going on right now and like all the crazy emotions um and the ups and downs that are going on right now having a little infusion of nostalgia at least for me definitely helped um kind of like recenter and and make me feel like uh you know okay you know we're gonna wake up the next day and and yes things are crazy right now um but uh but you know a future could a future will will still happen you know whether whether it will be a good future or not is totally is debatable but a future will still happen and we can still you know work towards those changes that we want to see um so here it is how was john greed bullied off the site <laughs> and uh, and it's all like screenshots of of that post and his responses to it oh my gosh i don't think he was actually upset in that way though like i don't think it was <gasps> upset to to like a significant degree no i don't think so either but because he was such an a critical part of tumblr yeah they took action more attention from them mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that was what broke it yep all right supernatural fandom y'all remember this right dean and gym shorts yeah. oh this post you had to reblog it every time you saw the dean and gym shorts image yep uh the whistle makes me their god it's true <laughs> All right, more Dash Con. What's this? Who are you trying to get to attend the con? Like, what celebrities have you considered Misha Collins? Oh my God, remember when Dash Con first started and I thought maybe Misha Collins would come to Dash Con? Mm -mm. I can't. You need so much more money to get him to go. Yeah, no fucking way. No way. Not for your they first just convention. Off who, who people liked. And yes! Put absolutely no thought towards how much money it costs to host people at cons it's nope expensive yeah well because they didn't know what they were doing no not even slightly oh my gosh here's another post of like a gajillion images oh, i do remember i kind of remember this one though yeah i remember this one helatus the madness continues it's just like insane tumblr gifs oh my gosh okay here's another hitalia post it looks like this one is germany italy though but anyway um, I don't Most think we're gonna see. I don't think we're gonna see um, see another uh, of post with Prussia in it before time. Um, so tell us about Prussia while I look to see some some of these other posts are interesting. So on in Hitalia, there were three characters that would break boundaries and kind of fuck around a lot, and they were called the Bad Touch Trio. But um, specifically, Prussia was the worst of them, and. The part that made this incredibly unacceptable was that people would cosplay as Prussia and then sexually harass or sexually assault other cosplayers at cons. Oh, of course they would. Because that was that the was the age gave them the ability to do so. And it wasn't quite yaoi paddle sort of thing where it was like sometimes people would present for that kind of thing. It was more like they would like literally just like grab your whole entire ass or a boob because they're Prussia. They're the bad touch country. Ha ha ha. There was Not... that's kind of how Yowie paddles were a lot of times, honestly. Like that's why stream started banning them. Because it got like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Time I, I only went to a couple anime cons and they were all very small, so I've only seen 
like Aunt Yaoi paddles as almost like an homage to what once was, like how people will decorate um paddles for fraternities. Yeah. But they don't actually get smacked with them anymore. Yeah. Um, but I did see some getting applied, but like I mean the oh god, I don't even know who was presenting for it, like what they were dressed as, but they were on all fours. Oh my like, god. <laughs> it was consensual. <laughs> well, I if it if it's consensual, it's all good, right? But um yes. but you know, people but at cons- maybe like the ten year old that just wants to play Yu-Gi-Oh cards does not yes. necessarily need to see you getting your whole ass getting battered in public bingo like i would go to i went to dragon con several times and um and there was like a dragon con after dark right so after a certain amount of time like if you brought your kid like they were gonna see some stuff and so you probably shouldn't but like during the day that stuff was not acceptable you know what i mean yeah and i feel like that was it's kind like of a better keep, way to do you it keep your you keep your porn at artist alley in a separate binder exactly like, you know you you know limits <laughs> yeah and then you bring it out when it's like the after dark time and you you know that it's really unlikely for a kid to be around yeah all right so Perfect. um so thank you guys so much for coming down that uh that memory lane with me on the tumblr heritage blog i um i've had so much fun looking at that thing like it's once i saw it like i knew i was like oh i have to show everybody like they have to see some of this stuff um and and there's other like amazing posts on there it's just that there's so much content on there at this point because it's been going for like over a month now um and it's gotten so popular that uh that we barely scratched the surface so so if if you if you liked that then um all you got to do is google tumblr heritage posts it'll pop right up i'll even let's do this let me i'll put a the url in the chat so there you go heritagepost.tumblr.com that's where you can go um it's a really it's a really really fun blog really really fun time all right so let's do some more pokemon meme uh thumper you were here for this last time too so we're gonna do a few more um rules as uh to kind of remind everybody the the rules is that um i'm not going to repeat any pokemon that i'm doing no legendaries except in the legendary spots no mega forms no like alolan or galarian forms or any of that stuff um, and we've got five Pokemon we're going to look at today. So the very first one, um, let me pull up my handy dandy website that we like to use. Let's go back to this. Here we go. We are going to look at Gen 1 Ice. So for the Gen 1 Ice Pokemon, we can choose um, we can choose uh, Dugong, Cloyster, Jinx, or Lapras. So out of those, my favorite is definitely, excuse me, um, Lapras. So, I always think that Jinx is ice. Jinx, Jinx is ice. Jinx doesn't look ice type at all. Yeah, but she is. She's ice psychic, right? But you kind of, I think you kind of think of her as a psychic type, right? You don't really think of her like, as an ice type. Visually, but she, she is. just looks psychic. Yeah, she does. But um, but you find her toward in in the uh in the same area like where you go get Articuno. So she's ice type too. So here's Lapras. Here's what he looks like. I'm sure you, you guys all know Lapras. He's like a classic, right? He's a classic. So let's go look at his Pokédex entry. That's a Pokémon entry. you can ride on. Yes. I love that kind That's of Pokémon. Gotta teach. You gotta get a Lapras and you gotta teach it Surf, right? Like you just got to. Um, so his Pokédex entry is a Pokémon that has been overhunted almost to extinction. Oh, I guess that's why they were rare. It can ferry people across the water. A gentle soul that reads the minds of people. It can ferry people across the sea on its back. Yeah, so like Lapras, like you had to, like you had to uh, teach it uh, surf, like I always did, and it was always like my surf Pokemon when I was playing as a kid, right? Um, I loved him for that. Which I think in some of the later games they they said that like the population rebounded because of all the trainers intentionally breeding and releasing. I th- I'm sure that they do. Like if I keep reading, because it's an original, it has like so many Pokedex entries. Um, Oh yeah, here it is. You're right. So with the moons, uh, Pokemon Moon, the Pokedex entry is these Pokemon were once near extinction due to poaching. Following protective regulations, there is now an overabundance of them. Um, so yeah, uh, good comeback for for the the Lapras. <laughs> good comeback for a, a for a fake pixel monster. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, uh, Thumper, I guess since you're since you're here on voice chat, what's what would be your favorite out of these? Um, these dugong dugong dugong's a good choice because we're not doing legendaries i'm going with dugong i would have gone with um the 
Well, are we counting the Alolan forms because those don't come out to a later game? Are they still really like Gen so, One? No, I'm not. I'm not putting any Alolan forms on here. The only one I put on here was Rattata because is no dark type for gen one but like yep. rattata is like dark type in spirit right so yeah. um so no i'm not counting the alone forms although i, I i'm sad i made that, that rule for myself because i freaking love the alolan vulpix and alolan nine tails like the ice i vulpix think i like the alolan so nine tails cool. if it didn't look like the tails were like stuck in place it just looks incredibly difficult to do anything when your whole ass is a giant <laughs> igloo <laughs> true true and the other thing i love about these two is their shiny version is pink so it, their shiny is like adorable that is very cute. So, like, if the nine, if the Alolan Nine Tails tails could still move yeah. and like be a Kitsune or whatever, I would love that one in particular. Yeah, but I, they don't. I would agree. So I just look at that and I just go, "That you can't go through a single doorway with that hanging off your butt." Right. Absolutely. Um, okay. So the next one we're gonna do is Gen Six Ice Type. So that one, our choices are either. Um, I'm not sure how you pronounce these ones, but um, Amura or an Am Amororos? I think that's Amara. how you say it. Because they're supposed to be like Aurora Pokemon. Yeah, and Amara then you've got and Aurora. Yeah, something like that, exactly. Um, Berg and then Bergmite and Avalong. So for this one, um, my choice is um, the Am Amara, I think is how you say it, because it's like Aurora. So the little dinosaur guy with the little gem. She's so cute. Okay, and her Pokédex entry is, This ancient Pokémon was restored from part of its body that had been frozen in ice for over 100 million years. This calm Pokémon lived in a cold land where there was no violent predators like Tyrantrum. So Tyrantrum is another one of the dinosaur Pokémon in this gen. Uh, but the thing is, okay, so the thing is with this one, I really like both of these guys. So I put... This one, the little one, right? The lower evolution for my favorite ice type for this generation. And then if we go look at the rock types, oh, sorry, not ground, rock is what I meant to mark. The rock types for this generation, because that's the other type for this one, like here's our choices, right? We've got the, the Tyrant and the Tyrantrum, and then we've still got these two guys. And then these are basically like, they're not really legendaries, but they're they're kind of legendary, so I'm not going to count them. And then, or you could do Binocle, right? I think most people for their favorite rock type probably go with one of the Tyrannosauruses, but no, not me. We're going with um, Auroros, and I'll read that entry. And that one is, the diamond-shaped crystals on its body expel air as cold as negative 240 degrees Fahrenheit, surrounding its enemies and encasing them in ice. Using its diamond-shaped crystals, it can instantly create a wall of ice to block the opponent's attack. So I choose that one for my favorite um, rock type for this gen. Uh, Thumper, what are, you, what are your favorites um, for the, the ice and the rock type that you see here? I'll switch it back to the ice type so you can see that one too. Do both. That, I'm just trying to count, I'm just trying to like think of how freaking cold that would be. That's like... <gasps> Ridiculous, oh, right? I'm just checking what the liquid nitrogen boiling temperature is. Mm. The Pokemon's so extra like that, right? It can't just blow cold air. It has to blow negative 240 degree cold air, right? <laughs> yeah, that's colder than liquid. That's, no, it's not quite colder than liquid nitrogen. But um, yeah, that's very close to absolute zero. And uh, that would very easily kill you. <laughs> well, um, I've gotten liquid nitrogen burns. Yeah. And that is not fun. It doesn't hurt. That's the weird thing. Oh, really? Because it is so cold. Oh. Like, I, I had to use liquid nitrogen in my grad research, and I had to use tongs to lower little test tubes into the liquid nitrogen to refreeze mm. it quickly. And I put the tongs on the table and reached over to something, and my hand, my arm touched the tongs <gasps> and then when i picked my arm up again the tongs came with it oh oh boy <laughs> for just a little second i have like the faintest scar from it but yeah like it was completely without feeling and then even when it melted it there was no pain at all but there was a mark and then it scar and i was just like that's a nitrogen burn okay oh so, that's yeah. scary Wild i didn't know account. they didn't hurt i didn't know they didn't hurt that's ridiculous like if i burn more of myself it would probably hurt yeah much more but like for the little part that i did it was very strange wow oh my um, gosh 
Wow. But from what I can see there, I think I'm going to have to agree with you with um, Amara. Mm -hmm. It's very cute. It's so cute, right? And it's like, I just, when I look at them, I'm just like, it's like, it's like a dinosaur, but also like diamond. It's like diamond dinosaur. So I don't know. It just hits that aesthetic mark for me. It's like it's fairy. Like, yeah, but it's not. Really cute. Yeah, it's not fairy type, but it has that vibe, right? Well, like th that color scheme, like the mm -hmm. little pastel pink and blue and the great big eyeballs that mm -hmm. look around your soul. It's pretty fairy. Yes. All right. So the next one we're going to do is that we're going to stay in that same generation, right? We're going to stay in Sen Gen 6, but we're going to look at the psychic ones okay so for the psychic ones our choices are del fox which i do love del fox but um i really prefer the lower evolutions for him so we're not going to go with him there's esper which is super popular but i'm not into it there's meowstic and then inke and malamar so when it comes to these i really love both inke and meowstic so this is another one where we're going to try to we're going to end up doing both right so you can see meowstic, meowstic is, is really good yeah it's so good right so meowstic is pure psychic it's a type cat, like. exactly how can i not pick the kitty cat i can't i have to pick it um okay so meowstic is what we're doing for the psychic type here and let's go take a look at his entry drag you over Meow stick. All right. When in danger, it raises its ears and releases enough psychic power to grind ten ton, a 10 ton truck to dust. The eyeball patterns on the interior of its ears emit psychic energy. It keeps the patterns tightly covered because that power is too immense. So that is Meow stick. Creating Pokemon that could very easily murder humans. And But they don't for some reason. I don't know why, because they could totally take over. They don't have to listen to us. And yet... <laughs> It's a children's anime, and generally, um, the mass slaughter of people by animals is not very child friendly. I, I you'd probably get a couple angry emails about that. I mean, maybe, probably. Um, <laughs> but on this list, like, I really love NK too. So we are gonna have him, but let's check out what other dark choices we could potentially have. So the other dark choices we could potentially have is really Greninja. Um, Pan or Pangoro. So that's the other like non um, legendaries we could potentially pick. And Pangoro is a good choice, but I just think Inke is so cute. And you know, at this point, it's so obvious I'm here for the cute ones, right? So Inke is going to be my dark be choice. I, I don't know. I mean, good question, right? I don't know. All right, so here's Inke, and let's look at their entry. Um, opponents who stare at the flashing of the light emitting spots on its body become dazzled and lose their will to fight. It flashes the light emitting spots on its body, which drains its opponent's will to fight. It takes the opportunity to scuttle away and hide. So it basically flashes lights in your eyes and then runs away. <laughs> um, what a good Pokemon, right? What a good Pokemon. Um, what do you, what do you think? I'll, I'll bring the psychic types back up too. What well, do you think for Dark and Psychic? In K, because I I don't it. It looks this like one? a jellyfish Pokemon. It, it is. Just, it looks, I think it's supposed it, to it be. Looks almost onion-like, with where they have like all the things put together. It it looks like an onion with a hat. Oh my gosh, a little bit. Here's its here's its evolution, which I'm not. I I don't think I use. I'm using this anywhere. But this is what the evolution. Like it's like a squid. <laughs> yeah. Well, this one's supposed to be like squid looking, right? Oh so this my one God, is like that jellyfish. Is frightening. Yeah. So this is like jellyfish That's what my looking. Sleep paralysis demon <laughs> looks like. <laughs> <laughs> this would make a good sleep paralysis demon oh my god but yeah it's it's evolution is supposed to look kind of like squid like right so it's like jellyfish like and then it evolves into like a squid like looking thing it looks like what i would pit like my D, &D people against <gasps> like as, as like a sub boss oh my god yeah it does um oh my gosh there's you should have a squid monster in in D, &D and then describe it looking like this <laughs> You know, looking Malamar, like a Malamar. It looks like that, but frowning even more. <laughs> it's already pretty frowny. Um, so yeah, yeah that would be scary. <clears throat> all right, so um, so those are all of the Pokemon that we're going to talk about today. Um, we'll do some more next time, of course. This is getting really filled out, right? Like we've got a lot of Pokemon on here, and y'all can kind of see definitely which generations had less new Pokemon introduced and which had more. Like we haven't done a single. Uh, gen 3 pokemon yet so um but we'll get to some of those hopefully soon there's just you know there's just a lot more choices in gen 3 so haven't had them come up yet in some of these like smaller groupings uh all right so i'm gonna switch back to 
webcam. Jumper, since you're here with me, do you have anything that you wanted to shout out or tell people where to find you or anything like that? Um, shout out to everybody living in Nevada. If you happen to mail in your ballots, please check them to make sure that they went through and your voice will be counted. Yes, every vote is important, guys. Every vote is important. We live in a democracy, and that means that your votes should be counted. So please go check them. It's really important. Um, also, yeah. I'm just going to send you this picture of this very good turtle. Oh, thank you. I, send I it. thought, like, if I'm, if I'm going to mention something stressful, I'm going to send something nice as well well the whole Please reason the whole reason that i that i wanted to do like the heritage blog today is because it just brought me so much here it is for everybody to see it i brought it up on the screen um it brought me oh this is like this guy looks like a little pokemon with his little his like and island on his back down. there we go torterra yep. <laughs> of course um it's but, just a really good turtle it is what a good turtle oh my gosh um but yeah the reason why i wanted to to do this to a stream where i'm looking at the tumblr heritage blog today is really because it brought me so much joy and this week has been like just roller coaster right it's been a roller coaster like let's be it's real it's been a time um, i'm tired <laughs> right so i just thought like an infusion of nostalgia um if it made me feel that good you know maybe it could it could help some people kind of try to recenter themselves a little bit so that we can kind of you know get back to uh try to i don't want people to think i'm trying to say get back to normal because i'm not i'm like try like to try to get back to like what's important right um, you know, cause what's going on right now is kind of a circus. So that is what it is. I'm not going to say too much more about that because that's not what the stream's about. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks Nevada. Uh, keep, keep on going. All right. Um, so we're going to, we're going to end the stream, uh, where you can find me. We have this stream every Thursday, which is called Artistic License, starts around 6.30ish or whenever I finish dinner, pretty much. And it's kind of whatever. It's it's whatever I want to do. V random variety. I try new stuff. Sometimes the stuff don't work out. Sometimes it does. Um, this one was pretty good, I think. Uh, we also do a stream on Saturdays at noon. For that one, we um, I'll play a chill video game and have a conversation with some of my friends. Um, most of the time it's Landon. Sometimes we have a guest. Um, and if Landon's not available, a lot of times it's Naomi. But it's mostly me and Landon. And, uh, and we talk about some topics that I think are either um, about roleplay specifically or pertinent to role players, right? And then the other place you can find me is on YouTube. And on YouTube, I have a show called Spare Room that goes up every Wednesday at 2 p.m. You can find links to my YouTube channel down below in the about. Um, also, you guys are welcome to join my Discord, which is also down below in the about. Um, joining my Discord and also attending these shows live is how you can end up coming on The Voice with me like, Thump like Thumper did today, right? So do those two things and, uh, and maybe you two could be on stream with me um, instead of just in the chat. And uh, then my Patreon's also down below. And then the other place that I post content is on Twitter. So my Twitter is mostly advertising, but when I'm not advertising, um, I'm posting cringe and serving hot takes. So if that interests you, go check out my Twitter. My Twitter is It's Karen Terry. Um, and that's it. That's all. All right. That's it for the show. Thank you guys for um, watching today with Artistic License. And bye, everybody. Say bye, Thumper. We'll catch y'all cool cats later. All right. Don't forget to make it a great day. Bye, guys.